Hi guys, I have something interesting for you today. If you are looking at the Sony shooting grip with wireless remote commander, then you might have a better alternative at a cheaper price. Let me tell why. First of all, this can be used with any camera for that matter and not only with Sony cameras. And then if you have Bluetooth connection on your camera, then the controller can be used to control the device remotely. Now since I have a Sony camera and the ZV-E10 supports Bluetooth, I will show you how to pair it with your camera and get started. Let's start with unboxing and see what is supplied in the box. We get some paperwork explaining the process of setup, a strap cable, a CMOS battery that goes inside the controller, the controller itself and the holding grip come tripod. Let's test its features and see what are its benefits over the Sony grip and where it falls short. The tripod is made of good quality plastic and provides a decent grip to hold on. In the bottom, it has rubber parts that helps to keep the system stable on flat surfaces. The upper portion can be rotated up and down and from left to right freely and locked at any required angle. Weight of the grip is 220 grams and can hold weights of up to 1 kilo or about 2.2 pounds. The controller is a separate unit and can be detached for remote shooting. Let's put the CMOS battery inside. Talking about the buttons on the controller itself, on the top it has a zoom in and out key which can also be used to focus in and out. Then a shutter button and record button just below that. The shutter button can be half pressed for autofocusing just as in the camera. Then below that is an autofocus on and off switch and a custom button so you can assign any additional setting of your camera. Moving to the right you have your zoom and focus toggle and on the left side there is a lock toggle which basically turns off accidental presses on your devices. This shooting grip is compatible with Sony A6100, 6400, 6600, the A7 Mark III, the RX100s and a host of other devices. For a full compatibility list, please visit the product page to know if your model is supported. And if you need it for Canon or Nikon cameras, I will put up links for them as well. Before we start, check that the remote controls lock switch is in the off position. On the camera, select menu and go to the network tab, then go into the Bluetooth settings and turn the Bluetooth function on. You will see another option as Bluetooth remote control or Bluetooth RMT CTRL. Put that to on. Now on the remote control, press and hold the shutter release button and the plus sign together for about 7 seconds. You will see that a confirmation message appears on your camera screen stating that the pairing is completed. This device is perfect for vlogging especially with cameras like the ZV-1 and the ZV-10 or any RX series of cameras. Which is no surprise as it is the primary function this device is intended to be used for. However. It is also useful for a host of other shooting conditions as well like remote shooting, stabilizing the camera or using as a tabletop tripod. It is a perfect travel companion. Taking selfies with this is also a breeze. Talking about the price, it comes in at around 70 USD 
which is half the price of the Sony one. You can get it even lesser for around 60 USD sometimes. The other benefit is that it has a detachable controller which is missing in the Sony grip and it is a huge advantage. It supports almost all functions of the Sony grip. The cons that I found were the build quality is a little inferior to the Sony grip which is expected and the response time is also some milliseconds more than the Sony grip. So if you can sacrifice those few aspects, this grip is a real value for money. It is recommended from my side. Let me know if you need any more suggestions or information on this topic. I will be happy to help you out. That's all for this video. This is Avik signing off. See you in the next one.